from Victoria gas chambers in Auschwitz and elsewhere did not begin with bricks. It began with words. A reminder from a Holocaust survivor that the evils unleashed on the Jewish community began with words, not actions. It's a part of a new campaign focused on fighting the rise of anti-Semitism during the pandemic and educating young people about the Holocaust. It's called It Started With Words. The Holocaust started with words and abuse and it ended up with the gas chambers. The campaign coming as some who protest pandemic lockdowns and restrictions are making comparisons to the Holocaust, which killed 6 million Jews. Like this Ontario MPP who shared an image of Hitler on Twitter referring to the lockdown. Or these anti-lockdown protesters in Calgary wearing the Star of David around their necks. Well, we've definitely noticed a lot of very offensive comparisons made to the pandemic and the Holocaust. And these comparisons are just obviously offensive and hurtful and deeply problematic, but they also really demonstrate a profound lack of knowledge of what the Holocaust actually was. Fogg works at the Montreal Holocaust Museum. Part of their work includes training school teachers on Holocaust history. But Holocaust education has a profound impact on young people. They're more likely to be tolerant, to be critical of misinformation, and to stand up when faced with intolerance and discrimination. Rabbi Josh Berkowitz learned about the Holocaust through family. His grandparents on his mother's side survived it, while his grandparents on his father's side hid in the Pyrenees Mountains while Jews were being rounded up. What I learned from my family is that it's a generational trauma that we're just starting to get around the corner of it a little bit. While anti-Semitism continues to rear its head, both here and abroad, Berkowitz believes education is paramount to avoid repeating history. It's very easy to just slip back into the way things were. 70 years ago, 50 years ago. And um, it happens with language. It starts with the way people speak. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.